Thanks so much, Philip. And, and thank you to the Steve Fund and all of the organizers also of this uh, important conversation. And I just really resonated with what Damien and Joan were both saying, especially about the imposter syndrome. A um, couple of things that I guess I'll, I'll just mention is that in terms of some of the challenges facing uh, Asian and Pacific Islanders, um, specifically Asian Americans right now is, is the idea of um, the COVID-19 related hate crimes, the xenophobia, that is being perpetrated also on Asian Americans. It just adds to what's already a stressful kind of situation. And I believe that um, it comes out in the form of xenophobia for Asian Americans, but for, I would say for other um, people of color in general, I think there are other forms of this kind of discrimination that is being, um, being perpetrated upon um, you know, people who are different. I think in terms of just some of the culturally specific kind of recommendations, I think um, there are a number in the Steve Fund um, report, but I, I just want to really, um, I think, elevate or, or uplift uh, some of the, the, the recommendations that I think would help not only just Asian Americans, but all people of color. And I think mm. the idea, some one is about being able to um, create these kind of environments where they have trusted and safe spaces where they can talk with either peers or a trusted, um, uh, whether it's a, a whether it's in the school, like a, an administrator or in, at work, a, a trusted manager. I think those kind of um, examples are really important in, in being able to give people who may be struggling with a place where they can at least share it with somebody. I think that's the most important thing. If you don't, if you don't have a chance to share it, you know, you're just, you're just kind of like taking it all in and before you know it, and, and I know that um, this may come up later, but, um, it's not only just the explosions that can happen in terms of behavior, but um, my personal experience is that, you know, some, some people just cannot deal with it any longer and they feel like their only way out is to take their life. And so I think for me, this is very personal in the sense that um, I've had that experience and I just would never want that to happen to anybody. I'd much rather have them have a chance to get help somewhere from someone that they trust.